Welcome back to Deal Unboxing and today we're going to review G2 Tour Pro touchscreen laptop. It is on sale on Amazon for $399 US dollars. So in this in-depth review we're going to go over the features, specs, benchmarks and also do a teardown of this laptop. So please sit back, relax and enjoy the review. Also please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. So let's do a quick unboxing. In the box we have an extra screen protector, silicon keyboard cover, 32 GB USB drive, Z2 laptop, power adapter, quick start guide, and warranty information. Now let's look at the specs. The laptop is powered by Intel's 8th gen Celeron 3867U dual core processor, 12.5 inch touchscreen with 2.5K resolution IPS panel, 8GB DDR3 RAM, 128GB hard drive, Intel HD 610 graphics, 802.11 AC Wi Fi, Bluetooth 4.2, 38 watt hour battery. Microsoft Windows 10 Home Edition and weighs only 2.64 pounds. Now let's look at the ports. On one side of the laptop we have USB 3 port, micro SD card reader, headphone jack and on the other side we have a USB-C port with data, video and charging capability and should support 4K at 60Hz and a charging port. The laptop also has a fingerprint reader inside the power button and also supports Windows Hello feature. So just placing your finger with unlock the laptop. The laptop has a 720p resolution camera with dual microphone and following is a video quality from the webcam. The camera's picture quality is good enough for video calls but does not support Windows Hello feature. Overall laptop has a design that is simple and clean and smooth aluminum body hides fingerprints very well. When it comes to upgradability, the options are limited. You can access the laptop motherboard by removing the screws from the back cover. You need to be careful while removing the back cover with proper tools but the process is very simple. You can add additional M.2 SATA hard drive and I would highly recommend it because it will benefit the system performance if you use it as OS drive or also help extend the local storage on the laptop. The RAM is not upgradable because it is soldered to the motherboard and there is no available sodium slot. The laptop comes with 802.11 AC Wi-Fi 5 card but again you cannot upgrade it. For the CPU cooling we have a single copper heat pipe with the heatsink and fan. You cannot hear the fan noise during general usage but temperature never crossed 50 degrees Celsius during our test which means cooling is sufficient enough to keep the laptop temperature under control during CPU intensive workloads. Starting at just 2.64 pounds, the laptop is light enough to carry on school or college campus. The laptop offers clean, modern look and body material is all aluminum. First impression from visual standpoint are good. There's not much flex in the body and laptop was built with great level of tension to detail with a smooth feel on the surface providing good comfort to the touch. Overall, the construction does not feel cheap and the body will be able to withstand general day-to-day -day usage. The laptop screen has very thin bezels on the side, but the bottom bezel is quite large. And our unit came with 12.5 inch 2.5K 1440p resolution IPS screen. The screen quality is very good. Playing 8K YouTube video looks really good. The total brightness screen produces 280 nits, which is good for indoor or outdoor usage. Calibration out of the box is also very good. The screen also supports 77% Adobe RGB, 74% NTSC and 99% sRGB. The laptop's visuals are handled by integrated Intel HD 610 graphics. Watching YouTube or Netflix content looks really good. And this display works very well in low light conditions. Moving on to the keyboard, the laptop keyboard is good for longer typing experience. The pressure point is acceptable and the feedback of the key is a little bit stiff. On the other hand, the key size and arrangements are very good. And the keyboard is also backlit. You can press function key and escape key to turn off and on the backlit, but by default it is on. The laptop's touchpad is also good at supporting Windows Precision drivers. It is quite accurate and makes a solid clicking sound. The palm rest is made out of all plastic, but the rest of the laptop is all aluminum. In the performance of our laptop is equipped with 8th gen Intel Celeron 3867U dual core processor. The processor is based on Intel's KB Lake R architecture with two cores with base clock speed of 1.8 GHz and a maximum clock speed of 4 GHz. This processor is used in budget mainstream and 2-in-1 laptops. Its performance is sufficient for everyday general usage or office tasks. It can handle very well 4K video files at higher bitrate and following is a sample of 4K file with higher bitrate and laptop was able to run it flawlessly without any lag or problem even though we had a video capture software running in the background. Now looking at the benchmarks, the laptop dual core processor scored 271 points in Cinebench multi-thread CPU performance benchmark running at 1.8 GHz, which is not bad. And in CPU-Z benchmark, laptop CPU scored 401 points in multi-thread and 206 points in single-thread. Next in Geekbench 5 CPU benchmark, 
CPU scored 437 points in single core and 827 points in multi core. Also in Geekbench 5 GPU benchmark, Intel HD 610 GPU scored 2672 points. Moving on to the storage benchmark, our laptop scored 246 megabytes per second read and 130 megabytes per second write in as SSD benchmark. The laptop comes with 128 GB hard drive and can also support up to 1 terabyte M.2 SSD with available M.2 SATA 3 SSD slot. And I highly recommend adding SSD for even better performance and extra storage. For the audio, laptop is equipped with two downward firing speakers. They get loud enough to fill a small size room, which is good for this laptop. During our testing, the laptop stayed remarkably cool. The hottest location of the laptop is the underside, reaching 48 degrees Celsius during our CPU Z stress test. That is well below over 95 degrees Celsius comfort threshold. It clearly shows the laptop has a good CPU cooling solution. In the battery life department, the laptop has a 38 watt hour battery unit. The 38 watt hour battery can provide up to 4 to 6 hours of runtime, depending on your use case. But this is more than enough for students for on campus projects or taking notes during classes. Let's do a final summary. Overall, the G2 Tour Pro laptop is a good general computing machine. The 2K display is great for students that takes online courses and have a decent GPU. But again, this is not a gaming laptop. The laptop is light enough to carry around school or college campus and has a decent battery to last during classes. The highlight of the laptop is its build quality and 2K screen, which is one of the best IPS panels we have seen from Chinese manufacturer. The overall laptop's price point is a little expensive from its competition. But keep in mind, the competition does not offer 2.5K resolution touchscreen. And if you add all this up, it is overall a good purchase in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of Jidu Tour Pro laptop in the comments below. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.